This is Disneyland News Today. I'm Alessa and here are the top Disneyland Resort stories for April 13th, 2023. All four tiers of Disneyland Resort Magic Key Passes went on sale again on April 11th, and now two tiers are sold out. The Believe Key and Enchant Key are the two middle tiers and are no longer available for purchase. Pass holders who already have these keys can still renew them. The lowest tier, the Imagine Key, is still available to Southern California residents only. The Inspire Key, the highest tier, is available to all other guests. Magic Key passes have been available sporadically this year, with some or all tiers being sold out for the majority. Splash Mountain will be closed permanently at Disneyland Park beginning on May 31st, 2023. The last day to ride the attraction will be May 30th, 2023. Splash Mountain will then be turned into Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which is expected to open in 2024 at both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom. Here is what else Disney confirmed. There will be a brand new cast of original Disney characters with distinct names and personalities, dozens of new audio animatronic figures, adorable critters with incredible talent bringing the diverse flavors of musical gumbo found in New Orleans, new original music alongside favorite tunes from the film, do you love beignets as much as Lewis? Well, you're in luck because the alluring scent of beignets being prepared for the party will be part of the attraction queue. Additional talent voices from the film reprising their roles, including Bruno Campos as Prince Naveen, Michael Leon Woolley as Lewis, and the one and only Anika Noni Rose as Princess Tiana. Familiar faces from the film, such as Princess Tiana, Prince Naveen, Mama Odie, Louis, Idora, Charlotte, Big Daddy, the King and Queen of Meldonia, and Prince Ralphie. Perhaps for want of a magic feather, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is currently stationary at Disneyland. We discovered the sudden refurbishment of this attraction the other afternoon following the removal of the Dumbo topiary out front and the barriers placed around the Flying Elephant vehicles. Barriers now surround Dumbo the Flying Elephant inside Disneyland, blocking off views of the attraction's water features and its inner mechanisms. While it didn't appear that this was an active site when we stopped by, a number of cast members could be seen discussing the attraction's current state nearby. Located in Fantasyland, it has been a few years since the attraction has seen a major refurbishment. Its current closure was not advertised in advance and no reopening date has been officially announced. Perhaps more upsetting to guests visiting Fantasyland at Disneyland is the iconic Dumbo Topiary has been removed from the outside of the attraction. The topiary outside of Dumbo the Flying Elephant has become a favorite for guests looking to capture photos of the nighttime fireworks. From the vantage point above, the iconic lit topiary stands in the foreground as Dumbo the Flying Elephant and the fireworks can be seen behind. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsors, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and the team will design your next magical vacation from Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, Alani, and more. The best part is that their concierge services are 100% free. Disney has announced their first ever Disneyland After Dark Pride Night events on June 13th and June 15th, 2023 during Pride Month. Disneyland After Dark Pride Night is a separately ticketed event celebrating the LGBTQIA plus community and allies. The After Hours event will include themed entertainment, Disney characters, one-of-a-kind photo opportunities, specialty menu items, and event merchandise. It will begin with a three-hour pre-party mix-in from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. PST. The park will then close and the private party will run from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. PST. In addition to the special offerings during this event, guests will receive unlimited digital downloads of Disney PhotoPass photos taken during the party, along with a commemorative keepsake including souvenir credentials and event guide maps. So here's what you can expect if you come to celebrate Pride Night. You can celebrate at the Pride Night Cavalcade featuring Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Clarabelle, Donald, Daisy, and Goofy dressed in special attire as they make their way through the heart of Disneyland Park down Main Street, USA. Join Stitch at the Ohana Dance Party at Tomorrowland Terrace, where a DJ will be spinning great tunes with joyful energy at a dance party that celebrates Ohana family. The Pride Night Dance Club will come alive along the rivers of America, inviting everyone to dance and enjoy music under the stars. Kick up your heels with a country line dancing at Golden Horseshoe. 
Picture yourself in fun photo backdrops with inspirational messages or Disney characters and enjoy unlimited Disney Photo Pass digital downloads. Enjoy after hours access to iconic Disneyland attractions such as Haunted Mansion, Indiana Jones Adventure, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, usually with shorter wait times. A limited number of Disneyland After Dark Pride Night tickets will go on pre-sale for Magic Key holders beginning on April 18, 2023, no earlier than 9 a.m. PST, and to the general public on April 20th, 2023, again, no earlier than 9 a.m. PST. And that will be on Disneyland.com, and it is all subject to availability. We found the new Lego Duplo set celebrating the Disney 100 anniversary celebration at the Emporium Shop in Disneyland. The new play set is marked for all ages, three and older. It has 160 pieces in the box, including Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Daisy Duck, and Donald Duck. Minnie and Mickey are dressed in special celebratory outfits for the occasion. Minnie's cat Figaro is also included in the set. With this new offering from LEGO, children will be able to build a small replica of a Disney castle. The set can morph from a castle into a tower or several smaller locales, depending on personal preference. Figaro, Donald, Mickey, and Minnie are showcased on the top of the box. A spellbook featuring Mickey's sorcerer's hat and a magic wand are also included. As anticipation builds for the debut of Rogers the Musical at Disney California Adventure, the Hyperion Theater has received some new marquee signage advertising the revised one-act version of the show. The Hyperion Theater marquee now features a mustard yellow vinyl sign for the upcoming premiere of Rogers the Musical at Disney California Adventure. The titular branding is all black except for the use of Captain America's shield as the O in Rogers. The far right quarter of the sign features a silhouette of Marvel's Captain America holding his iconic shield. On either side of the Hyperion Theater marquee, letter boards have been updated with one of Steve Rogers' catchphrases, I can do this all day. A short one-act version of Rogers the Musical will debut at the Hyperion Theater in Disney California Adventure on June 30th, 2023. The show was first seen in the Disney Plus series Hawkeye. Singers and dancers tell the story of Steve Rogers, Captain America, joined by Peggy Carter, Nick Fury, and select members of the Avengers. The musical will take the audience on a journey from Steve's humble beginnings during World War II to becoming Captain America, leading the Avengers and beyond. It's a classic tale of heroes, time travel, and romance. Oh, and Nick Fury sings. The show will feature familiar music, including Save the City from the Disney Plus series Hawkeye, Star Spangled Man from the film Captain America, The First Avenger, plus five new original songs written just for Rogers the Musical at Disneyland Resort. Rogers the Musical will run approximately 30 minutes from Tuesday through Saturday most weeks. Additional details including show dates and times plus news about merchandise and food and beverage offerings themed to Rogers the Musical will be shared as opening day gets closer. Though Pacific Wharf is currently under construction to be reimagined as San Francisco inside Disney California Adventure, certain locales within the reimagined land are expected to remain much of the same when the transformation is concluded. New paintings advertising Lucky Fortune Cookery and Cochina Cucamonga are up, which may be a less than subtle assurance that there is no intention to remove these two eateries anytime soon. San Francisco is the primary setting for the 2014 Disney animated film Big Hero 6, drawing inspiration from the architecture and cultural sensibilities of San Francisco and Tokyo. New advertisements for these existing Pacific Wharf dining locations have been included among newly installed themed banners during construction. On the left of three new advertising graphics, the Lucky Fortune Cookery is included among the San Francisco construction. Cochina Cucamonga is also advertised and can be seen on the green banner in the middle, so these locations aren't going anywhere. Right now, the area is largely known as a food court for Disney California Adventure. When the construction is complete, the new version of the land will include a Baymax meet and greet, food and more. As we mentioned previously, no ride is currently planned for the area, though you can experience the happy ride with Baymax if you are willing to visit Tokyo Disneyland. As downtown Disney continues its transformation, the beloved Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen continues its renovation as well. Now we've reached the latest step in the restaurant's update with the iconic saxophone marquee now removed from the restaurant's exterior. 
Much of the theming on Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen is being removed during the transformation to give the restaurant a cleaner look and a vibrant California energy. The menu is also set to be updated to reflect this new theme. Although the posts are still visible from where it was mounted since opening in 2001, the sign has been entirely removed from the eatery's exterior. The oversized marquee for the restaurant featured a giant saxophone, characteristic of the birthplace of jazz music New Orleans. Ralph Brennan's was written above in red print, while Jazz Kitchen was below in green block letters. Based on concept art released last year, the saxophone will be replaced with a new flat sign. The restaurant will be renamed Jazz Kitchen, Coastal Grill, and Patio with a new logo that's half pink and half orange with a saxophone outline in the center. The restaurant's main marquee will be relocated to the front entrance. The Jazz Kitchen Express window will be renamed Beignets Express once the refurbishment is complete. The dining outlet closed last year and reopened earlier this year to complete its first floor renovations. If you love Christmas, listen up. We found a new ornament inspired by Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room at the Plaza Point Holiday Shop in Disneyland. The ornament is a several inches high wooden totem pole with a tropical bird seated on its base. The item is a representation of the tiki totem poles who are characters appearing in Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Four totem poles are part of the attraction where they are brought to life by audio animatronics. It retails for $24.99. The Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Iger has made it on the Time 100 list in the innovator category as one of the most influential people of 2023. In a four minute video on the Time website, Iger speaks about his decades long career with ABC and Disney and how Disney's values keep it standing. Iger said of his return, I was brought back for a reason. The company had gone through a very difficult period exacerbated by a global pandemic. And more than anything, the company needed stability, needed to establish a set of priorities and focus on them. The only way you end up getting success is by deciding what the opportunities are and then organizing your people and your company to go after them. Mary Barra, the CEO of GM, who is also on Disney's board of directors, wrote the following about Iger for Time. There's a reason Bob remains one of the world's most admired CEOs. He has led landmark acquisitions, championed culture-defining films, launched innovative distribution platforms, and delivered strong financial results, all while never forgetting the people, the employees, and the fans. His return as CEO in 2022 ushered a new era of transformation and creative excellence for the most magical company on earth. For the absolute latest Disneyland news, head on over to DisneylandNewsToday.com and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at Patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout out to all of the WIGS members watching who make this show happen every week. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more content, and click the bell for notifications and hit select all on notifications so you never miss an episode of Disneyland News Today. For DLNT, this is Alessa saying enjoy the rest of your day and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Welcome to Deep in the Plus. Each week, join host Rob Whiteside as he and a panel of Disney superfans take a different movie or TV show from the Disney Plus catalog. They'll tell you its history, details, and give their review so you'll know if it's worth your time. Current shows, classic movies, and everything in between. Watch Deep in the Plus live Wednesday nights at 9 Eastern for new episodes. Or catch Deep in the Plus anytime on YouTube on WDWNT-TV.